We are NXT and we start with the NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez but she's not alone as she has Nikita Lyons and Sol Ruka standing by her side after last week a shocking betrayal and defection by Zoe Stark. What does the Women's Champ want? Asuka, Nikki Cross, Zoe Stark, all of you should watch your back because you may all want one thing and that's my NXT Women's Championship but I have these two behind me waiting to get their hands on you. You don't have an advantage, you don't have numbers, it's even, it's three on three. It's War Games. If it's war games, then don't we need advantage ladder matches? Oh yes we do. Come on, let's have it right now. Well, we will indeed have a war games advantage ladder match as Zoe Stark steps up for her team against the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. And that is the briefcase that they will be trying to climb those ladders to get the war games advantage. And Zoe already went for a super kick, but Roxanne caught her, sends her off. Big shot there, oh my god. Big kick to the gut there. Got her up on her shoulders. No, up for a power bomb. Oh my god. God, turn it into a senton. Up on the middle rope, she goes! A Dez press from the middle rope to the bottom. And oh god, no way, went for a clothesline. Big into Curry there from Zoe. Send her into the corner. Who's gonna be the first to grab a ladder here? That same kick that took her out last week. And now Zoe Stark channeled her inner Finn Balor last week with that turn against Zoe, against Roxanne. She is Zoe. And now she's got the ladder, but Roxanne gonna take her out before she can use it. But Zoe back on the attack with a perfect plex. And now, oh no. Power bomb on the ladder and using it as a weapon two times over. Roxanne got to get out of here. Zoe Stark up on the top of the ladder already trying to get the War Games advantage, but Roxanne already back up to her feet, pushes the ladder down onto the corner almost. Oh, God. And now Roxanne back on the offensive here. Oh, my God. Tight rope in the ropes. Oh, the arm drags big kick right there. No, Carter, Zoe taking her down there. And oh, no, oh, God, half and half suplex. And now Zoe, here we go, bringing the ladder with her for the knee. No way, caught her super kick again. And now here we go, Roxanne somehow got it with an impaler DDT. Now she's grabbing the ladder. Roxanne Perez trying. She's short. She's got to get all the way up there. What is she doing? Up on the very top meteora and now she's back up on it trying to get the advantage for her team she could do it right here no I mean, she can still grab it. She can still grab it if she wants, but Zoe Stark slowly climbing up. Roxanne had it. She had it in her grasp, but Zoe able to stop her. And oh god, she's got her for a swinging neck breaker off the top. Zoe. And now Roxanne immediately up to her feet again, but she's slowly climbing. Zoe could grab it right now, but oh god, a big forearm strike. No, Roxanne, they're going back and forth here. Oh no, wait, a oh, Roxanne doing the same damn thing Zoe did to her. And now Roxanne up on the top. She's gonna grab the advantage for her, to her team with Sol Ruka and Nikita Lyons. She's got it right where she wants it. No, what? Sh Shayna Baszler! Shayna Baszler just pushed the ladder down! What is going on here? And now Zoe Z360! And now Roxanne's out of here! Shayna Baszler! What is she doing here? She's on Raw and sh she's setting up the ladder! Zoe start climbing it! Zoe's gonna get the advantage! As Shayna Baszler joined Team Asuka, Zoe Stark won! Zoe Stark has won the advantage for her team with the help of Shayna Baszler? I thought it was three on three, now there's four? I could sit here and go on about how my foot was under the rope, the ref was crooked, the fact I've beaten him before, but now we're in too deep. I lost once, I won once. I need to finish my job. I need this rematch, I need this one more time, because now it seems to many as though he's got me, even though they failed to remember that I beat him months ago. That's how forgettable he is. He's gonna complain about the ropes, the ref, anything he can latch onto to get one last chance, and I'll gladly give it to him. He tries to claim I'll be forgotten, so let's give them something to remember. Hagen versus Bishop, part three. No, no holds, holds barred. barred. This time, we go to war. At war games, the king is dead. Roxanne Perez is searching around backstage looking for anyone to be her fourth member, but she can't find anything. 
Now we have a whopper of a match set up last week. Axiom, the guy who almost beat the North American champion JD McDonough a few weeks back, has a match against Dragon Lee, and the winner gets the next shot at the North American title. But also, doesn't this sound like fun? This is wrestling, and oh god, Dragon Lee immediately tilt a whirling around. And now look at this, Dragon got him, Canadian Destroyer! Axiom's already dead, pin him, he's done, no wait! Went for a double foot stomp, no! Axiom taking him down, whoa, went for a moonsault, or yes, yeah, was a shooting star instead, German suplex into a bridge, but Axiom, watch out! He did, he did watch out, but Dragon, oh my god! Just back and forth, these two go, and that atomic drop, that's almost illegal, but it's all right, because it's Dragon Lee, he caught his legs, his ankles on the goddamn steps. Now Axiom leapfrogging, ducking under, big drop kick, and a wall went for a drop kick, but Dragon Lee taking him out into the corner we go. Dragon, big uh, big drop kick there, and now, oh my god, he's fired up, going from corner to corner on Axiom. Oh no. And now Dragon, wait a minute, oh my, powering him up into a power bomb. Oh my god, what a knee strike. Axiom still fighting on that standing shooting star. And no way, Dragon got him, double underhooked. No Wait a minute, Axiom Hurricane Rana turned it into one. And now he's got him up on the ropes. Wait a minute, shout out Eddie and Ray. Oh my god, the DDT. And now standing moonsault. Up on the top rope he goes. Big crossbody. And now always oh, calling him up for the golden ratio. He's calling him up. He hits it. What a kick cover on Lee to go to face JD McDonough for the North American Championship. But he couldn't do it just yet. Dragon caught his leg. Here we go. Got him in after the kick to the gut. Up on his shoulders. Power bomb type, maybe. Oh, last ride! Oh god, and now up on the ropes he goes, turning his back. Oh no. Dragon gonna join him with that elbow there from Axiom. What is going on here? Dragon and Axiom now fighting each other up on the turnbuckles here. This is not where you wanna be oh my god what uh, what kind of strikes are going on here dragon what are you thinking oh inverted poison rana that is a poison i don't know that was crazy went for a super kick taking him down does axiom and uh, oh my god a little half and half Butterfly suplex, Northern Lights, and now here we go, going for it again, the front flip DDT, no, Dragon caught him, taking him up on the ropes there, and now here we go from corner to corner, no wait, kapow, Jesus, just popped him up for no reason, Axiom though gets out of it, big shot there, oh god, King Alt takes him all the way down, shooting star, up on the top, Rah! big far flip, for definitely a five star frog splash, whoa, golden ratio, golden ratio, the second one, cover, off the ropes, he kicked out again. He kicked out again. What are we doing here? Axiom got him up on his shoulders. No. Dragon. Big drop kick. No. Axiom move. Dragon kick out of the way. What a knee. And now Axiom's got to leave. But here we go. Back on the outside. These two go. Look at these kicks from Axiom. No. Dragon gets out of that one. Here we go. No wait. Axiom gets out of that. Sending him into the ring here. Kip up. Dragon. Oh my god. He's already up to his feet. Kick to the guts. Big drop kick to the side of the head. No. Went for a springboard. Dragon. Here we go. Got him up on his shoulders oh no they're going for a suplex no axiom gets out of it again these two going back and forth they have each other scouted like oh my god german suplex bridging this could do it after all that damage but no here we go suplex no gets out of it again axiom this man doesn't stop and a chop block takes him down but no dragon now he's got him a little fujiwara armbar he's got an armbar locked in on axiom these two just don't know how to stop they don't know what to do got it locked in cinched in on axiom no wait he gets out of it rolling through oh my god look at the oh the athleticism and you know, axiom he is nowhere near done with this match, sitting up on the ropes, pondering his next move. Axiom, now into the corner, no! Dragon gets out of it, Irish Whip, off the ropes, Hurricane Rana, into the cover, into the pinning predicament too, no! Axiom kicks out, and now Dragon, oh no, got him, kick to the gut, suplex, into a power bomb cover to go to face! JD, but Axiom kicks out, and now Axiom playing a little bit of possum, calling him up again, this time, a uh, Third golden ratio cover and Axiom does what? JD McDonough! JD McDonough just calls to DQ and now Devil inside to Axiom. What is he doing? He just calls to DQ and another one. What is this man doing? That's not how this works. JD.
I'm afraid it doesn't work like that anymore. Because now at War Games, you will defend the North American Championship against both Axiom and Dragon Lee in a triple threat match. What a disaster for JD McDonough. This went the complete opposite of how he wanted it to. All right, students, we've taken you guys to the PC, and now it's time to prove yourselves and let out that anger. Okay, well, I should have seen that coming. You know what? Let me get in on this. Wait, wait, let me get in on this. Okay, now, you fight each other. Wait, I thought this was just a way to beat up Azro. Well, yeah, but come on, let's see what they got. Well, he's got to get something for that, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. Ilya Dragunov has rushed the ring from the crowd. What do we got going on here? Right now. You know who I'm talking about. Right goddamn now. I'm not waiting any longer. Stop hiding behind your goon. Well, it looks like he's gonna do just that. Hide behind Davakato because tonight Dava goes one on one with Ilya Dragunov instead. This may look like a big difference in height, but I guarantee you Ilya Dragunov is not scared of someone that size. He's faced many like that before, and I think he's gonna face more. But oh my god, you bust him open already? What are we doing here? Aziz or Davakato, whatever your name is now. He's going crazy, and now he's got him up on his shoulders. Look at this snake eyes right in front of Apollo and big boot. Takes him down. Ilya Dragunov has to go to the outside, but oh, Commander tried to drop kick. What's going on here? But Ilya Dragunov off the apron. He goes. No, oh no, sent off immediately. And now Davakato. Geez, send him back in the ring. This might be easy pickings right now. I don't know what's going on. Got him up, double underhooked. Okay, we, we're getting here for a long time. Dropping him. Does I see? He went for another one, but Ilya Dragunov takes him down with that weird neck thing. And now a big sent on. Oh god, look at these combinations from the Mad Russian DDT. Takedo, and now in the corner we go. Big running clothesline, and now he's going for corner to corner, charging it up with another clothesline. Send him down, and now going for that, charge it up again. But Commander takes him down, went for a, a little elbow drop, but a little cross body Ilya, and now he tries to go to the outside, but he's gonna follow him ahead, but from the top, and now Apollo gets one for standing there. He was in the way. Oh, but right back in the ring, Takedo catches him and now look at this the nigerian nail cover on dragonov and no he kicks out um basic bar he able to cat he's able to get out of it and now here we go torpedo moscow off the ropes it only takes one and Ilya dragonov wins Ilya Dragunov takes down the giant avocado just like that and now his full focus is on apollo cruz was that it that's your monster? That's who you hide behind? At War Games, I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did to Dabakato, but even quicker. Ilya Dragunov is gonna get his wish as he will face Apollo Crews one-on-one -on -one at NXT War Games. Why are you still in this gym? Do you ever leave? Are you as high as a kite? Like, what are we doing here? Just calm down there, Nathan. You need some hard-hitting truths right about now. You clearly are not meditating enough. Not breathing enough not calming yourself enough so i'd like to invite you to some of the exercises i do to help cleanse my mind no 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 i'm not doing this weird shit you can continue your rituals elsewhere next time i see you we'll be in the ring weirdo well that wasn't very nice dad when is the breakout tournament so i can fight that amir dude uh i can't say just yet oh come on can't you just tell me hey wait a minute i want to hear this when am i fighting mason you know what 
Why wait? Both of you are stuck in the breakouts division, so at War Games, you will fight, and the winner is the first to qualify for the breakouts tournament. Good luck, and Mason, you better win. Now we have the Men's War Games Advantage ladder match, and for Team Nakamura, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Dolph Ziggler is here. Of course he would. Of course he'd do this. Who better to put in this ladder match? But his opponent is the arrogant Aussie himself, Grayson Walla, former NXT Tag Team Champion, had his fair share of run-ins with Ziggler in the past, and now he looks to battle it out for Team Styles and get that War Games Advantage. We got more ladders for you, and oh god, immediately Grayson Waller takes down Dolph Ziggler, and he's pandering to the crowd. He's taunting to the them. And oh, go oh, to Ziggler with a drop kick from the top rope to the outside. A little Hill Godway catches him here. Big whoa oh, forearm. Jesus. Big elbow there takes him down. He's gonna go after the announce table. Oh no, but Ziggler stops that immediately. No, missed the drop kick again with that discus forearm. And now look at this. Got him up into a power bomb. Went for a super kick. Ziggler right to the face of Grayson Waller. Now big elbow there. No Waller. They're going back and forth there with that neck breaker. And a whoa! Jumping! What is it? Unprettier? <laughs> no. He's going to set him up on the announce table. Oh no. Grayson Waller. I mean, he, he spent a lot of time with his old tag team partner, Logan Paul. And he's going to do exactly what he does this time. An elbow drop! Through the announce table, grab that ladder. Dolph Ziggler is all the way out here. And now Waller, hopefully there's nobody coming in out of nowhere that's not on their team. But Waller able to grab the briefcase. He's right there. He's right, right where he needs to be. Just unhook it, Grayson. Just unhook it, bro. It shouldn't take this long. You look like Jack Swagger at WrestleMania 26. And Ziggler able to knock down the ladder as he gets in. And dropping him with an electric chair. And I look at this. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold. I mean, it wouldn't matter if he tapped out. But still, he can make him pass out and easily get a shot at the briefcase. And I look at this. And he's tapping out. Grayson Waller, that might be smart, though. And now Waller gets sent out to the outside. Ziggler right where he needs to be. Up on the ropes. Oh, no, on the ropes. On the ladder. Climbing up the rungs. And now here we go. He's got the briefcase. Again, why does it take these people so long? But wait, Waller. He's climbing up. Waller's climbing up with him. Oh, God. Right to the exposed midsection. Almost. Almost lost it. And now here we go. They're battling up on the top. Ziggler, just like they did in the women's advantage. Oh, no. And now Ziggler up on the top. He's going to the tippity top of it. Oh, my God. Big splash. And now Ziggler up on that. He's going up on the, on the thing again, but Waller able to spring up and send it down. No went for a super kick. And now wait. Drop breaker from Waller. Here we go. Snapmare takedown. He's going out to the outside. I think I know what he's setting up here. Through the ropes stunner on Ziggler oh god and now Waller able to hit him with a ladder and get up on the ladder as well and no wait Ziggler he's got his own ladder what are we doing here they both got their own separate ladders who's gonna grab the briefcase Waller going up to the top of his Ziggler going up to the top of his what is this <laughs> what are we doing here the briefcase is right there no Ziggler he's gonna get down but wait well oh Waller jumping from his to his and now god Send him out to the outside, and just for good measure, leg drop to the outside, roll through, stunner! Oh no! And now Waller climbing up, the two ladders are still there, nobody in sight, and Waller brings down the briefcase and wins. Grayson Waller manages to pull it off, meaning Team Styles will have the advantage in the men's war games match. We're never hearing the end of this. You know what I'm here for. Come on, you know the drill. No, I want to hear you say it. Tiffany Stratton, will you be the fourth member of my War Games team? Ew, you think I want to be in that disgusting structure? But it's your lucky day. I'll do this stupid War Games thing. As long as there's something in it for me. Well, there you have it. The last member of Team Roxanne joins as the NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez will have Tiffany, Nikita Lyons, and Sol Ruka on her side as they face Team Asuka with Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, and Nikki. 
across. We also have a North American title match as JD McDonough defends against Axiom and Dragon Lee in a triple threat match. A Breakouts Tournament qualifier as Amir takes on the SmackDown GM son, Mason Meltzer. We also have a one-on-one -on -one match between bitter rivals Apollo Crews and Ilya Dragunov. A no-holds-barred match to settle the score between two former Breakouts as Alexander Bishop and Cody Hagen square off. And then the Men's War Games match as Team Styles with the phenomenal NXT champion AJ Styles, the winner of the advantage match, Grayson Waller, and yes boy, Kit Wilson and Elton Prince of Pretty Deadly as they face Team Nakamura, the King of Strong Style, and his hype man Rick Boogs, as well as the NXT Tag Team Champions Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, the Dirty Dogs. This is going to be so much fun, I cannot wait for War Games.